On my roof here, I have the Tough Stuff Alpha Rooftop Tent. Now this is a hard shell rooftop tent, but it's not like your typical hard shell rooftop tent because this one's actually kind of a bifold rooftop tent. Most of your typical uh, hard shells just go straight up and the space you see is the space you get. This one folds out, giving a whole bunch more room and actually ends up being about the size of a king size mattress. This tent comes in at a little under $1,800 and when you buy it, you get a choice of three colors. You can do black, white, or gray. I chose to go for the gray. Honestly, I think it looks the best and it kind of matches the vehicle a little bit. Uh, I thought the white looked a little cheap and then black would obviously be really hot to the touch in the summer. Just looking at it, one of the things you immediately notice is it looks really, really tall. Uh, and I actually measured it and it ended up being the same height as the Smittybilt Overlander XL that I had before. Uh, the difference is with the soft top Smittybilt, most of the height is in the center. Whereas on this one, the height is at the back of the tent and it just looks really tall from behind. I do think even with this height, this is gonna be slightly more aerodynamic than the soft tops. Uh, I noticed with my soft top, it did flap around a lot in the wind when it was driving along. And you obviously don't get that with a hard shell rooftop tent. One thing I did notice though, is there's a little more wind noise from the front here. Both of them have wind noise. But there's a little more wind noise from the hard edges that you get at the front of the tent here. One massive advantage this has over my previous tent is the setup time. So let me move the camera back and I'll show you what you have to do. So this is real simple. There are four straps on the outside. You simply undo all four of the straps. Once all the straps are off, just get up and give it a good push up and the supports will take over and it folds out. There's an elastic strap that goes around the middle. Simply loosen that to the front. Fold the ladder out, pull down on it, and just pull. And the whole tent folds out. There are two poles that support the overhang, so you just put those in and you're done. And that's it, it's really simple, really quick. On the underside, you get a bunch of storage. So this is generic storage on this side, and then there's shoe, shoe pockets on the other side. Um, you also get underside LED lighting, although I haven't figured out how to turn that on yet. Uh, and then around the outside, there's a track, and then a zipper around here that's for the annex. Now the annex looks awesome because it extends way out and gives you a load more room. So inside, you can see there's a ton of space. You've got a, about the size of a king size mattress. The mattress in here is three inches, uh, three inches thick. It's a little firmer than the one in my previous tent, but you don't sink all the way through. So it is actually really, really comfortable. Uh, when this is folded up, there's plenty of storage for bedding as well. I have uh, two of these thick winter sleeping bags and a comforter in here, and they all fit when this thing was folded up. The back of the hard shell is also insulated. So even if you do go with one of the darker materials, when the sun hits it, it's not gonna get really hot. You also get interior lighting, so there's another strip of the uh, USB LED lighting along the top above me, and I figured out uh, it plugs in down here, so you get a little controller, and you actually get uh, one plug for the interior, and then one plug for the exterior. So the exterior is lit up now as well. And that can just be run off a regular little battery pack or you could use something like a Jackery. You get plenty of ventilation in here. So you've got uh, these windows, they zip out. I let in a ton of sunlight now when I do this. They zip out and you've got the uh, bug mesh underneath. 
You've got uh, a little more on top, so there's another ventilation window up there, so you can let more air in, and then obviously on the other side too. But that brings me on to really the only complaint I have about this tent. So I'll have to go back outside and show you. The only thing I don't really like about this tent is the fact that you can't use the windows when it's raining really hard or when there's a lot of wind and rain at the same time because rain will come through the mesh here. I'd love to see some kind of canopy coming out that will protect you uh, and allow you to open those windows when it's raining. I've seen a lot of tents that have that. I know there are some high-end tents that don't come with any kind of protection, but I still think that would be something that would just make this tent perfect. Let me show you now how easy this tent is to put away. Packing up this tent is almost as simple as getting it out again, and it's still a very quick process. This takes much less time than setting up my old soft shell rooftop tents, or putting away the old soft shell rooftop tents. The rubber strap from earlier goes back over the center of the tent and this is actually a really neat feature because it helps pull everything in as you're folding it up so you don't have to tuck in anything afterwards. You know, lift it up into the center, that way it grabs hold of everything. And then there's a very thick strap that you grab hold of and you use just to pull the whole tent down. Once it's down far enough that it won't pop up again, just tuck the strap in. And from there, you just pull it with the handle. There's a couple of things sticking out. I'm just gonna tuck the last few things in. Make sure the plastic straps aren't tucked in. Push the plastic straps in on both sides. Get up the Velcro straps. Occasionally a little bit of extra material gets stuck out the front and the back, but you can just tuck that up underneath the plastic. And that's it, I'm done. That was really, really quick. And that's only like the, I'd say like the fourth or fifth time that I packed it away. I think with time, I'm gonna get even quicker. So before I give you my final thoughts on this, I just wanna let you all know that I paid full price for this. I'm not being compensated in any way for this review, this walk around. These are entirely my own thoughts. Uh, and this is just first impressions. You know, I have not had this very long. I definitely subscribe to the channel, look back in around six months time and I'll give you my full review after I've used it a ton. Overall, I'm immediately impressed with this. It's obviously a very high quality tent. It's so much better than my previous tent, which was a Smitty Built. And honestly, I didn't think there was anything wrong with the Smitty Built, but it is, this, one, this one's obviously a lot higher quality. Uh, if you are looking at getting a rooftop tent, I can't think of any reason not to get this. If this is the kind of size you're looking for, this is the one to get. You know, if you were looking at this mini built, spend a few extra hundred dollars, get this. If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That helps promote it on YouTube and I'd love to get this out to as many people as possible so they can see how great this tent is. Uh, if you've got any comments or any questions, make sure you leave them uh, in the comments below and I'll try to get back to as many as I can. Uh, and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. That way you can see this in use this summer going on uh, quite a big road trip. Uh, so gonna be putting this through its paces.